Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that's been popping up about consent mode when we're using Google Tag Manager to send data to Google Analytics. The question is about which trigger we should be using for our Google Analytics tag. Let's head to Google Tag Manager to answer this question. As we can see, I'm using the initialization all pages trigger. This trigger will mean that the tag fires on all of the pages of our website. And since the Google tag has consent mode built in, it will automatically adjust based on the selections people make on our consent banner. However, I've had a couple of people suggest that this isn't the best trigger to use and that I should be using the cookie consent update trigger instead. This trigger will fire the tag once someone provides consent. The reason a couple of people are suggesting this is because they say using the initialization all pages trigger will result in less accurate data. The suggestion is that when people land on the website, the basic hit will be sent to Google Analytics. Then once consent is provided, when the next event is tracked, it will be missing important data. This will apparently include the original method people use to find the website, including the original source, medium, and other information about acquisition. So rather than just answering this question in the comments, I thought we'd actually have a look and test things out. To begin with, let's click Preview to open Tag Assistant. And now I'm going to enter the URL of my demo site. and click Connect to see what happens. Our website loads, and I've already implemented CookieBot on this website because I've done a couple of videos with CookieBot. We can see the consent banner pops up, and currently consent hasn't been provided yet. So let's see what we have in Tag Assistant so far. Let's open Tag Assistant and let's select the Consent tab. We can see that the original consent state for Add Storage, Analytic Storage and so on were all set to Denied, and they're still set to Denied. So this confirms we haven't provided consent yet. Now let's travel back to the Tags tab. We can see that some of the Google tags have fired, Again, these have built-in consent checks for consent mode, which means they're automatically adjusting their behavior. So the Google tag is just sending basic information to Google Analytics. We can verify this by selecting the measurement ID at the top. In Tag Assistant, we can see a page view has been sent. Let's select this. And here we can see the cookie consent state. This parameter is set to G100. Now, in previous videos, I've covered this. Basically, G100 means consent hasn't been provided yet. It's just sending basic information without cookies being stored in the browser. Once we have granted consent, if we come back, we'll see this switch to G111, which means consent has been granted. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to disconnect Tag Assistant. This is because we're going to adjust the URL slightly. Before we do this, let's head to Google Analytics. I've already opened the debug view in the admin area of my Google Analytics demo property. And since we haven't provided consent yet, the debug view is also blank. So again, until we provide consent, we won't see the events appear in Google Analytics, even in the debug view. Now let's head back to Google Tag Manager. And let's click Preview again. This time I'm going to change the URL slightly. What we're going to do is we're going to add some campaign tags to the URL. I'm going to add UTM campaign equals Benjamin and UTM source equals Benjamin, and UTM medium equals Benjamin. And I'm doing this for testing if Google Analytics will capture this information. 
Now let's click Connect. The demo site loads again, but this time we can see the UTM parameters in the URL. We now have the campaign, source and medium we entered. We can also see the consent banner is still appearing, which means I still haven't provided consent yet. And let's click Allow All. Now that we've allowed cookies, let's travel through to another page. I'm going to navigate to the Contact page. Let's take a look at Tag Assistant again. We can see again our tags are fired. Let's select the measurement ID at the top. And let's select the most recent page view event that has been sent to Google Analytics. We can now see that the cookie consent mode parameter has been updated to G111, which means all of the available information is being sent to Google Analytics. So now we can find out if we've lost the original source and medium along with the campaign that I added as UTM parameters to the URL. To find out what is being collected into our reports, let's head back to Google Analytics. It might take a moment for the event to appear in debug view, so let's wait a moment. And we can see they've appeared. We can see there is a page view event and user engagement events. The user engagement events were collected after we provided consent, so theoretically they shouldn't include any details about how we found the website. Let's select one of the user engagement events. And we can see there are parameters for medium, source and campaign. Let's select one of these. And we can see it contains the value from my UTM parameter. So this is telling us we're actually capturing the original information, even after consent was granted on the website. We can also check this by navigating to the real-time report. And let's look for the event count by event name card and select the user engagement event. Again, we can see the medium source and campaign. And selecting these shows us the value I set for the UTM parameter. So again, this is telling us that the original method of finding the website is coming through to Google Analytics. This tells us that we can continue to use the initialization all pages trigger for all of the Google tags that have built-in consent settings, including tags for Google Analytics and Google Ads. And I also wanted to show you that this data appears in the standard reports, so we're going to fast forward 24 hours. Now let's take a look at what appears in the reports after we've waited a day. OK, let's navigate to Traffic Acquisition under Acquisition. Let's change the default dimension to Session Campaign. And I'm going to search for Benjamin to narrow the focus of the report. Now let's click the plus sign. And search for and select Landing Page. We can now see the home page is reported as the landing page for the campaign tagged URL I used for testing. This tells us that Google Analytics is reprocessing the original page view event that we viewed before providing consent on the website. So again, this shows us that we can use the initialization all pages trigger to fire our tags without losing data or ending up with missing information about the original method we used to find the website. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel for all of the latest updates. I'll see you in the next video.